Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and this is your look ahead video on Tuesday the 2nd of February. Thanks again for watching. Uh, things looking very interesting actually over the next week or so. Possibility of some cold weather coming in, a risk of some snow as well. And we're not ruling out the possibility of a brief period of snow somewhere across the UK next week, which could be perhaps one of the more widespread hits that we've seen so far this winter. Still early days, still much could happen, but I think it's something that um, we need to be highlighting, and I know you're sensible enough to know how to use the sort of forecasts we uh, we give on here. I know you're not gonna run around screaming snow, snow, here we go, um, as certain tabloids do. Um, anyway, now something really, really important. Sit up and listen, because WeatherWeb Premium is about to launch. Um, I was explaining this to you yesterday. Thanks for those who you give me your feedback on that. And uh, generally, overwhelmingly, it's been very, very positive, which is great news. So thank you for your continuation support. I know there's a few of you who are a little bit concerned, but don't worry, you're going to get far more from WeatherWeb Premium. Um, the videos are going to be there every day. We're going to add more information on there as well. And all in all, I think your experience will be better. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll think it's well worth subscribing. But what's really important is those of you particularly who are on YouTube, as subscribers on YouTube, once we go over to Premium completely, which is going to be at the end of this week, so then you won't get notified when videos are updated. So if you want to be notified when the video is updated, it's vital that you send a blank email to generalweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net. That's the address that's on the screen now and we can add you onto our subscriber list. Remember, YouTube subscribers, you will not be notified of when videos are updated. So it's really important that you subscribe using that email address now. Did I make the point there? I think I probably did. This is the New Look uh, Premium page, which you will have access to during the next uh, few hours, actually. Um, just look at the WeatherWeb page, the right-hand side at weatherweb.net. It will say to you WeatherWeb is changing, how and why. Click on that and it will take you through to the new pages, which I think you'll agree look much better and are really, really friendly on your mobile and tablets as well. On with the all important information, MJO has got our attention, as has this possibility of snow next week. Um, models are struggling a little bit with exactly where any snowfall would be, but we're focusing in on sort of the next Thursday, Friday, that sort of time period. Um, for the possibility of some snow. Of course, we'll keep you updated, but we need to take a look at the broader picture first of all. And this is the MJO forecast from uh, the CFS, which is taking us through phase three into phase four around the sixth, picking up phase five around the twelfth, then into phase six uh, around about the 24th, and eventually getting into phase seven around about the 1st of March. Now, just compare that with our friends over at the ECMWF showing remarkable things here. Look, we're going through from phase four through phase five into phase six and then up into phase seven. So seeing a similar sort of progression through the uh, MJO phases. So exactly what does that mean? Well, let's let's pick up on phase four first of all. And a typical phase four scenario, these from AmericanWeather.com, um, shows low than normal heights up towards the northwest, higher than normal heights southwest, and the jet being pushed south of the UK. Now, remember we were going into phase four around about the 7th of February. This is exactly what uh, we're looking at as we head through the coming days. Picking up the jet, the jet moving south, cooler weather coming in all the time. Before we get into phase five around about the 12th of February. Now then we see a trough to the west of the UK building pressure off towards the east. The jet buckles a little with a ridge over the eastern states. We get that sort of pattern developing. Now it all depends on exactly where this trough is as to how chilly it becomes. If we see a break-off section of this trough shoot across Southern Ireland and Southern England, which 
it does more often than not in phase five situations. What then happens is that the area of low pressure spins up over or to the south of the UK, somewhere down here, pulls in the colder air and brings a period of sleet and snow, particularly across the northern half of the UK, although trying to delineate where those boundaries are is very, very difficult. But I think we've got to work on this distinct possibility and focus in around the 11th, 12th, 13th, somewhere around there for the possibility of snow across the country. I don't think it would last very long, and I think it's quite confined in where it is. But if that happens, and certainly the ECMWF is trying to hint at that, if that happens, um, then as I say, it could be a, a brief but intense snap of uh, more winter type conditions for some parts of the UK. Now, of course, anything can change, and boy, do we know that it does. Um, but I'm just telling you what we're seeing at the moment. And then we get into phase six. This was around about the 23rd of the month. And this is a cold uh, phase then to get into because the trough slips eastwards. By the time the lows got down here, it enables the next series of troughs to come in even further south, which means that you stick in this easterly flow. So that has a distinctly chilly look to it going through the middle stages of February with the risk of further sleet and snow. And the phase seven patterns kicking in around about the 27th, 28th of the month. Um, and this was phase seven, which then sees a ridge building towards the west. There's our trough off towards the east. So we're getting this sort of pattern kicking in which brings in cool north and northeasterly winds just to kick out the month and bring us a cool start to March. Very, very interesting situation setting itself up there. Um, as I say, this could all change. Um, and uh, what I'm showing you here is what we see here at the Weather Centre. It's the information we base our forecasts on for, for, for clients. Uh, and at the moment we're going out with a risk of 30 to 40 percent of this happening next week so it certainly is one that you need to stay across just to see how this develops um ECMWF, gfs both have it in there and the canadians are going for it as well so we could be about to see a pattern change and a, and a bite of winter ahead so hang on in there because boy this is going to be an interesting ride okay i'm going to leave you with that for now but whatever you're doing thanks again for watching keep the sun shining don't forget to subscribe to us to get emails of when these videos are updated and also to get your notification of when the premium weather website is launched for now though have a great evening thanks for watching keep the sun shining and bye for now